Hey, this is Dirty South. Hi, I'm Hook and Sling. We're the Stafford Brothers. I'm Tommy Trash. This is DJ Goodwill. We're TV Rock. This is Corsi. We are the Pot Bellies. Hey, this is Bass Glef. Hey, this is Sam Lamore. You're watching HQ TV. Oh, I wish it could last Sam, welcome back to HQ. You've just gone out there and absolutely smashed it. One of the best guests you've had in such a long time. Nah, it was easy, man. It's a fucking great uh, <coughs> Excuse me. That was a really proper nightclub. Where did your love for dance music start? I made records with uh, with pop stars. I saw I made Gwen Stefani's first debut hit, this What You're Waiting For thing. And so with that, I thought, oh, God, you know, this, is, this could be huge, this dance music stuff. And then I made some work with Robbie Williams and all these other stars. And I thought... I don't want to make this crap. This is cheesy shit. I, I want to make proper dance music, proper underground club music. So since then, yeah, I've worked with Pinal and Empire of the Sun and, well, uh, I mean, a, a lot of Australian people and had a really good time making proper club music, you know, and, and not just commercial disposable stuff. Your track, I Wish It Could Last, has just smashed it Australia-wide. Where was the inspiration for that tune? You know, it was my knobhead little brother Nick, the, the guy from Panau and Empire of the Sun. He basically did the vocal and took my instrumental record in this weird, self-indulgent, suicidal, bliss moment. And I just thought, well, okay, you know what? You're, in ma you're mad. So I gave Nick a shot. He wrote the vocal. He recorded it. And yeah, it's, it's intense. But it does work in a nightclub. That's the weird thing. It's this beautiful synergy between insanity and creative brilliance. Tell us about the touring you've been doing. I, I actually saw a YouTube video, I think it was, you playing in America? playing a crazy gig in America. Yeah, I played a gig in Kentucky at some... It was a strange fancy dress rave, but Americans' idea of fancy dress is paint your tits. Literally, just paint your tits. And that's it. That's your costume. So I have hundreds of girls running around with their tits out in body paint. Which is not terrible, it worked. I thought you were going to talk about the one in Beirut. It's, it's edgy, you know, there are bullet holes in your hotel window. And it's, it's cool. For some reason, Paris Hilton, you know, requested me to DJ at her bloody party. And then I get up and I start playing. She starts telling me to play R&B. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't play R&B. This is a nightclub. Hello. This is not California, Hollywood, where people bend over backwards for you. So I, um, I, I played... Paris is burning, <laughs> the wonderful Lady Hawk song, on repeat. <laughs> just looped it up and it went, Paris is burning, Paris is screaming, Paris is burning, but she didn't like it very much, so I got kicked out. Lebanese army, who were running as security, they um, they escorted me to a bunker in the dungeon, which is an ex, like, you know, nuclear bunker where you go where you're going to get assassinated. They interrogated me and like, what are you trying to do to Lebanese tourism? Are you ruining this whole thing? And I'm like, nah, man, I just want to party. Let's, let's, let's party. Sam Lamore on HQ TV. He'll be back, I'm telling you real soon. Thank you. Yeah, I loved it. I wish it could last forever.